Hi everybody, it's Lee here from Lee's Art Studio and it's week two of the Crazy Craft Challenge. So hashtag the Crazy Craft Challenge run by Pam at the Paper Rope Post and Louisa Heinzel from Louisa Heinzel Junk Journal Art. So this week we are going to be using our fingers as paint brushes. So finger painting, so things could get a little bit messy. And I've got a pack of baby wipes here to keep me on the straight and narrow. I'm sure I'm going to need them. Okay. So this week, I, I'm, I didn't realise last week when I did this, they wanted you to use their digitals. I know they said they, that you don't have to, but I'll, if I'd known, if I'd realised, I would have. Anyway, so I already have heaps of Pam's digitals. And I thought I was um, going to use some of one of her um, handwriting pages ones because they're really nice. And then I downloaded this one of Louise's. It's called Marry Me, Marry Me Juliet. That's it. I'll put links in the in my video description. So what I did was I printed two pages off. Sorry, I downloaded uh, on the printer. I joined two pages together. I'll get it out in a minute. On the printer I joined, when I was printing, I joined the two pages together. So I've got one page, it's got like one and a half of the pages on it. Because I wanted to do mine on a backing page and then tear it into strips. And I thought I was going to use that, but it's too small. I just need to find a bigger piece of paper. I need a piece of A4 paper. This will do. This is a piece of my, can't believe it's not avocado paper. And, and I'm going to just glue that on to start with and then I'll um, collage or sorry do all the finger painting over it and I'm going to stick some of Pam's paper on top to make a little bit of a collage as well. So I'm not worried too much about it um, getting the glue stick all over the place because I'm going to actually once I tear these apart I'm going to stitch them on the machine. I really mainly only want them, wanted to stick it onto another piece of paper to strengthen it a little bit. And I thought to begin with that I will tear up some of this printout of Pam's. That's hers and that's hers. And that's another one of hers. They're all quite. I think this has got the better colour on it, so I'm going to tear some of that up. Diary pages, I think this is what Pam's was called. So I hope you're all well and happy. It's really hot here in Australia at the moment. Or it is where I live anyway. The temperatures can vary quite significantly depending on what part of the country you live in. But yeah, it's very hot today. So I'm just going to stick some of that all over it. But I want to preserve the ladies' faces because they're so beautiful. I love this paper. This is, this is right up my alley. This is the type of art I love doing splashes looks like she's scratched and you know, all sorts of stuff in there flicks of paint beautiful I stick some of these down and then I shall get the paint out don't forget our challenge our collage challenge me and Julie's is beginning on Tuesday you can join in and just play along at home if you want to or if you have a YouTube channel you can make your own video and post it with the hashtag with our hashtag so it goes into a, the playlist so look out for that on Wednesday and that we've actually both got an introductory an introduc yeah an introductory video on our channels so if you want to have a look that's where you'll find all the information you need I love doing collage. I love painting too. 
and I like it being in challenges. It's great. Okay, so that's the first layer done. And we're going to just use some gesso, so I'm not allowed to use brushes, not allowed to use sponges, paint knives or anything like that. Just our little old fingers. I wonder whether I should wear a glove. I've got to go for a medical appointment tomorrow. <laughs> I might have some explaining to do when I get there. So what I'm going to do is just knock back some of the colour on here with the gesso, which is lovely and transparent when it dries. But it's sort of like looking through a mist at everything, so that's what I love about it. If you're wondering what this is that I'm using to protect my surface, it's actually a puppy training pad. They're really handy for, um, I, well, I'm, I have to admit, I did see someone else using one and I thought that's a great idea. So I got myself a packet. The only thing they're not real good for is like, I like to wipe my paintbrush on my hands today and um, it doesn't really, it doesn't seem to absorb much off the paintbrush. Grab another colour. You know, I'm thinking it's a, a really nice sort of aqua or turquoise colour would look good on this. Okay, I don't know how these will go. Got a few different greens. That's bright aqua. I don't think it's quite the colour I was going to, thinking of, but um, well, that's not too bad. I do think it needs to be near the brown though. start with. What's this one? Southern Ocean Blue. This is similar to Thalo Green. Oh, is that going to come out? The lid's been left off, or not left off, but not closed properly. It's a bit dry around there. Okay, come out. There we go. Just going to make some random marks on here. I'll get a bit more gesso, I think. It's a bit intense. I think the paint is reacting with the um, the print because I've done it on an inkjet. Printed out the the um, digitals, so I think yeah, it's wetting the the ink. Don't know what this is going to be like this color. It's a bit a bit bright, I think. gonna get some raw umber. It's a beautiful colour, beautiful transparent brown and uh, go over this I might have to delve into the the gesso again. Oh get on there. Put that on later. <laughs> That's probably why it's dried out. Did the same thing. Mm. 
I use my fingers when I'm painting all the time anyway. This is no, um, nothing new to me to be using my fingers in paint. I'm always covered in it. But I've never done it on this type of thing. Well, I don't think I have anyway. We've got some areas that I would really do with some brown. So I've got some real umber. Oh, and these are acrylic paints that I'm using today. And I've also got this iridescent rich bronze. It sounds delicious. I'd like to make a loose mix that I can splatter. That'd be good. My fingers are getting really sticky. It's just starting to tack up. Mm. I don't know if you can see this, but that looks... It's shiny. This is going to be nice. I think. That's gold. Sort of limited to what you can do with your fingers, aren't you? I mean, there's a lot you can do, but there's a lot you can't do too. Oh, that's nice. I just thought of something to do with this. Once I get some brown on there. Fingers are getting sticky again. Good thing this paint's not poisonous. I'd have died a long time ago if it was. Because I've been um, getting it on my fingers for about 13 years. There's an oil painter, a lady, who paints in oil paints and she only uses her fingers. She doesn't use a brush at all. She has massive big canvases. She's quite famous. So, um, I can't remember what her name is, of course. Should have painted it and then put that um, paper on there. Never mind. There's just one other colour I would like to put on there. Let's see what it turns out like. And it's um, burnt sienna. That's nice. Better turn that light on, I think. The sun's starting to move over. I was going to cut that off, but I think we just paint over it and we won't need to then. I want to make a sloppy mix that I can flick. Oopsie. That wasn't sort of what I had in mind, but oh, okay, it's not too bad. <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to get it on my camera and microphone and things. I don't want to get it on their faces either. I just put a scrap over there. Then I can flick like crazy. Oh, that didn't even go on the paper. There we go. Gonna have to dry this off, I think. Oh, look at my thing of paint. Oh dear. <laughs> so I really 
absolutely love to splatter some gold in amongst that too. Okay. Oh, it's going funny on the gesso. Look. It's mixing with the gesso and going a different colour. A little bit more out. I'm going to try get some small marks. I don't know what I'm going to use. Maybe my, the ends of my fingertips. That's what it looks like. I should put something down there. It's a bit bare. It saves me having to trim it off. That's not going to do it. Um, what colour? Raw umber, I think. Raw umber. Oh, and I'm just going to look for any bit of white I can see, and I'll cover it. Alright, I'm going to dry that and then I'm going to tear it into the three tags. Well, that's dry now, so I think it's safe to rip it apart. It took a fair while to dry that because that paint's so thick. Actually, some parts are still a little bit wet, so I might have to wait a little while before I can stitch around it. I'm just going to get my ruler wherever it is. So I'm going to cut them We'll tear them roughly into thirds. Doesn't matter if they're not exactly the same. I suppose if I folded it, that would give me a better idea, wouldn't it? Get that there. And then, oh, it's not thirds, is it? Oh, it's alright, it's close enough. Do. I can't find my tearing ruler. It's gone walkies. We are supposed to be making tags, aren't we? Not journal cards. I'm going to have to check that. I just had this feeling that I'm not making the right thing. rough edges all the way around. Oops. Maybe. That didn't tear very well. It's not stuck properly yet, I think. Oh, come on. Yeah, I wonder if it won't rip, probably. Got a couple of layers of paint on there, I suppose it makes it tough. It's that um, acrylic is like plastic when it dries. That one I like as it is. That one too. Well, oh, no, the bottom's got to come off at least. Put all that paint. <laughs> we do all that effort to put the paint on now, ripping it off. Yeah, get rid of the corners. Don't like the corners. I really should check to see whether I'm meant to be making tags or cards. So I'm gonna just go and have a look. I'm glad I checked, it's actually journaling cards. So I'm gonna square the bottom of this one up. 
and then I'm going to take it to the machine and give it a stitch around. Like that. Okay, back in a sec. So, so I have someone around them now and um, yeah this one I went around the face not that you can see it very well and I just did winky wonky stitching all the way around that one this one I put a couple of Shana's thread clusters in there and just two rows around and this one I used a combination of zigzag and straight stitch and put a cluster like the leftover thread that's hanging off the end I just made into a little cluster thing I've got some of this paint I want to put around the edge like as if I was inking it and they're a bit I don't know, I think they need to be a bit harder. I might end up gluing them onto another piece of card or something. So this is called Halo Velvet Gold and it's Lumiere Iridescent Paint. Metallic acrylic, acrylic light body. Okay, so let's go with this. I'm sort of hoping a little bit of it gets onto the front of the card. This is a beautiful paint. I've used it a lot in um, my journal. Um, when I was doing the Take 5 Art Challenge. It goes beautifully with orange. Warm colours. When it dries, it's um, you know purple gold. So beautiful combination. It's smudged down there just for good luck. Mm, I like the purple on there actually. That might have to have some more purple on it. Let's just put that there, out of the way. Number two. I think she needs a little bit of purple up here. It's quite transparent this colour so um, it's sort of hard to put too much of it on. Well, I'm sure I could if I tried. So that's two done. Put them down here where you can see them. And last, last, lucky last. So I was only trying to get that on the edge of the paper where I tore it to get the, rid of the white but bringing a little bit of it over onto the actual card itself getting that nice colour on there and that transition sort of thing Okay, so where can I put some purple on there? Just there What do you think so far? I'm not sure what else to do on them. I don't want to wreck it. A bit more purple might help. I'm liking them, they're nice. Louise's paper helped, of course, her images underneath everything. I'm actually thinking that I won't do anything else on them, I'd like stick anything on it or that type of thing, just maybe a bit more white gesso and perhaps some places might need a little bit more of that um, raw umber colour combination is working really well. Really liking it. I like doing the three of them at the same time too. If 
that looks nice around her face. Maybe I should do a bit more here. Because I stuck that piece of paper on there, it's sort of, you can't really see where her face ends. It looks like her hair is just chopped off and that bothers me a little bit. Okay, let's retrieve the raw umber. Just put some, some little bits of raw umber here and there. This is where I think it might need a bit of shadow. She needs a bit more around the side of her head. This lady, just here. Just tap some in, I'm not going to rub it. Just tapping it. And up there. Sort of ruined her a little bit by putting the paper on top of her. They look so different when I look up in the monitor and at them. They um, completely, they look completely different to how they look. Just looking straight down at them, because it's looking, it's like I'm looking at them from a distance. And um, it's something that I always do when I'm painting is on a canvas. I mean, is I um, step back from the painting and look at it from now every now and then from a distance. That looks nice, that really red colour. Well I don't know what colour that is. It might be this same colour here and it's mixed with something else I think because I cannot find it. And I'm going to leave them at like that. The only thing I'm going to do is put another coat of paint of uh, paper over the back of them. So this is how they look. One. And that one. And this one. I don't know which one's my favourite. I think this one. I think it's the tilt of her head and her position on the actual card. She's right on the edge, whereas these ones are sort of in the middle. So if, to me, that's more appealing as artwork in a way. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a look at what the other ladies are doing or the other people involved. And don't forget, if you do your own, it's the, ha uh, the hashtag is the Crazy Craft Challenge, run by Pam and Louisa. And there's one more next week, so can't wait to see what that one is. Alrighty, take care. Don't forget to tune in for me and Julie's um, collage challenge so we kick that off next Wednesday so the second and that's going to be every first well, on the first Wednesday of every month and anyone can join in with that one you can post on Instagram or you can put up a video as long as you use the hashtag or the right hashtag which is if you have a look in um, on our channels uh, we have a couple of videos that tell you exactly what you need to do. If you are not sure about how to participate and you want, or you've got some questions about it, drop us an email. So we've both got email addresses and we're happy to answer your questions. So until next time, take care of each other and cheers from Australia. Bye for now.